They moved in last March. Since then, Lisa Matthews says her family has had water problems. The water that comes out of here, um, we can't drink it. Um, it tastes awful. She noticed her stainless steel dishwasher leaving a film on glasses and plates and bathroom fixtures installed a year ago corroding. And you can see that this is only a year old and it's already rusty. You can even see it on the shower curtain. Water experts tested her well water and found high levels of sodium chloride or salt. The family's well is located at the bottom of a slope on Beckleysville Road. Matthews believes road salt used during the winter contaminated the well. She contacted Baltimore County to file a claim. They're responsible for the roads, so they should be responsible for what they're putting on the roads into my water. Baltimore County refused to accept the claim. County officials told her that as of February 4th, the county is no longer making payouts for wells contaminated by road salt. The county is saying we can no longer uh, provide that level of support that we once were providing uh, to the residents who were having this issue. The county says claims came in slowly at first. But those claims have ballooned to a place where it's just unsustainable right now, and especially in the current fiscal situation. So it was just something that we could no longer sustain. Over the past several years, the I-team has reported on the problems caused by road salt contamination. We discovered Baltimore County had more than 140 claims and paid out more than $2.3 million to homeowners. Now, Lisa Matthews and other county residents will have to handle the problem on their own. I feel wronged. Um, I, I feel like it's super unfair. Now, the options include building a new well or getting a reverse osmosis system. That system can cost anywhere from $1,000 to $15,000. We also checked with Howard County. Howard County tells us that it has not changed its policy and it is still accepting these types of claims. Reporting live from Hereford, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.